fellow freelancers, it's your pricing queen Jazz here and welcome to Creative Business Kitchen, where ambitious freelancers go to build a business that feeds their passion and fills their back pocket. Today we are talking all things raising your rates and charging more dough for what you do well. So if this whets your appetite, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and prepare to feast on all things to help you find your own flavor of freelance success. Let's dig in. Now, let me guess, the thought of raising your rates makes your stomach flip flop and your vision go blurry. You avoid it like it's boiled liver, mostly because you're simply not sure about the right way to get it done. Add on the idea that your current clients might go elsewhere if your rates increase and... <sighs> okay, I'll go get the paper bag now. You see, the thing is, a pay increase should be regularly on the cards for all working humans, not just those who are employed by other people. In the very least, inflation isn't going to deflate. That means that if you're not growing, you're shrinking. Prior to COVID, inflation was around 2% per year. Now, thanks to the lovely spicy flu, it's sitting closer at that 5% and some people even project around 7%. So that means that if you are not increasing your rates by at least 5% each year, you're losing money. The dollars that you earn won't keep stretching the same way and eventually you'll be wondering why you never seem to have enough money. Now, I know what you're thinking. Raising your prices is hard. It probably took you seven mud cakes and a casket of cheap wine to get you to land on the prices you charge now. Now, while I'll never judge someone for eating cake and getting tipsy, you've got a secret weapon at your disposal this time that you didn't have before. Me. I know, bold, but hear me out. Now let's first understand why you need to raise your rates. Inflation is certainly a factor, but let's take a moment to provide you with the justification that you're seeking here. Now first, it's not about being greedy. Your skills and abilities have almost certainly grown since the last time you decided on your rates. The you who existed back then doesn't have the expertise that the you does now, and you've more than earned yourself a promotion. This isn't about greed. It's about receiving an appropriate level of compensation for the value that you provide your clients. Rate increases are just part of good business. There are only two ways to make more money in business earn more or spend less. And while it's definitely worthwhile to regularly check in with your accountant or bookkeeper about your spending or check in with yourself, the reality is that it costs money to run a business. That really leaves you needing to earn more. All businesses increase their prices and they do it regularly. A loaf of bread used to cost one third of what it does now. And if prices don't increase, businesses don't survive. Now, believe it or not, your clients actually expect it. And in some cases, they actually appreciate it. As crazy as this may sound, it's true. Consumers are used to paying more for things than they used to. In fact, raising your rates in the right way can actually help build that trust. It shows that you are improving, you're evolving, and are even better equipped to solve their problems than you once were before. If your prices stay the same and your competitors increase theirs, your clients actually might question the quality of what you're offering. Most of us understand that a higher price usually means a higher quality. And if you want to attract clients who are looking for quality over price, you need to make sure that your rates reflect that. You'll be more invested in improving. One of the drawbacks of being self-employed is that there's nobody above you to crack the whip. The motivation to actively grow and improve has to come from within. When you raise your rates, it's almost giving you a jolt of inspiration. Suddenly you're aware that by charging more, your clients may be expecting more. You'll be more likely to upgrade your tools and your systems, widen your skill set, and improve the quality of your offerings overall. When you're a freelancer, you simply won't grow if you don't charge more. With that in mind, here are the steps that I use to give myself that pay increase. Number one, be clear on where you are and where you have been. The first step in raising your rates is knowing exactly what you charge now and how you formulated those numbers. Are you working solely off an hourly rate? Are you pricing per project? Do you offer retainers? And if so, how do you decide on the prices that are set? If it's time to raise your rates, this information needs to be at the forefront of your mind where you start. Understand exactly what your current prices are and why they are that up until now. Next, I want you to work out which business expenses have increased and by how much. 
In business, it really pays to keep an eye on your outgoing costs. It's so easy to ignore the, your subscription is about to become more expensive emails and not take a second glance at your direct debits. As mentioned earlier, successful businesses increase their prices regularly. This means that you'll be paying more for things than you once were before. Consider which of these essential expenses have increased and by how much. And this can be anything from your digital subscriptions to your materials, your tools, even your studio rent. Hot tip here, if you want help to do this whole process, head over to this blog and pinch my cut the fat expenses worksheet. Next, I want you to make sure you give your current clients plenty of notice. Many freelancers worry that increasing their rates will actually send their current clients running into the arms of their competition. Now, whilst this has not been my experience, it is important that you notify your clients in the right way. In the very least, provide plenty of notice, months if possible. Start your new pricing on an easy to remember timeline, like the first of a new month, beginning of a new financial year or calendar year. Provide enough communication so that nobody could justifiably feel blindsided by the increase. Now, in the unlikely event that you have someone that does complain, you need to be able to show ample evidence that they were notified, they were let known. You can even use the lead up period as an incentive for clients to book sooner rather than later. Highlight that if they book pay whatever by a particular date, you'll honor your current pricing and use this to your advantage. Remember that new clients don't know any different. It's only your regular clients who will actually know that you've raised your rates. While they may account for a portion of your income, that client is likely to not account for all of your income. New clients won't know that you used to be cheaper. They'll just accept that these are your rates and possibly even appreciate why you might be more expensive than your competitors. Remember, you don't want to be high because you're the cheapest and you don't owe them affordability. Now revise your pricing method. If you are still charging only by the hour, it may be time to consider a new method of pricing. Project pricing can serve you in a multitude of different ways and you can read about that here. And in the very least, it makes a price increase easier to swallow. It's harder for your clients to compare your new rates with your old rates when you're charging per project instead of per hour. Project pricing also eliminates the potential for bill shock because the client knows upfront exactly what they'll be paying. Now, even though you don't need to be worried, I know you're probably still panicking about the thought of notifying your clients of an impending price increase. So let me help you with this one. I'm gonna give you this next template. I'm gonna read it here, but I'll pop it up on the screen as well. Hey client, this is just a quick email to first of all, let you know how much I value you. Being paid to do what you love isn't an opportunity that is available to everyone and I'm truly grateful to be one of the lucky few. Secondly, I wanted to notify you of some upcoming pricing changes. As I'm sure you're aware, successful businesses can't keep their prices the same forever or they won't be successful for very long. If we factor in inflation, as well as my continued commitment to you provide only the highest quality of services, my current prices can't serve me for much longer. As of, insert date here, my new prices will take effect. Please don't hesitate to ask for new proposals and quotes as needed. And in the interim, I'm happy to honor my current rates. If you need me sooner rather than later, let's get in touch now to make the most of my current prices. If you have any questions, I'm always an email or call away. Thanks for your continued support, Jazz. Just as a caveat to that email, I want you to know that you don't actually owe your clients affordability. You have availability and accountability, but you don't owe them affordability. Communicating this rate raise is a completely personal thing, whether you want to communicate it or not. And sometimes it actually doesn't even make sense to let them know about a price increase because if they're charging or if they've got different projects, that pop up from time to time, they probably won't notice the difference. So it's a personal preference on whether you send something like that or you simply continue on the way you are, but with your new prices. Now, raising your rates doesn't have to be something daunting. In fact, it's actually a milestone worth celebrating. Make this year the year you get the pay rise that you actually deserve because you really can have your cake and eat it too. Order up. Well, that was a few more mouthfuls than I was expecting. That is a wrap on today's video, my fellow culinary creative. I hope I've given you some food for thought when it comes to raising your rates and finding your own flavor of success. 
But let's not stop there. Head over to creativebusinesskitchen.com to feast on even more resources and tools that will help you grow a profitable freelance business. From creative calculators to gourmet guides, from finding hungry clients to charging with confidence as a creative, I serve up everything you need to cook up a storm of profit and passion in your creative business. See you in the kitchen. Now go get a snack. You've earned it.